It's cold, we're in Texas, and we're not used to the cold. But we've got the garage door down, winter gear on, and we're building a table. So we're gonna show you how we built this coffee table for under $65 in lumber. Whoop, whoop. What is step one, Whitney? Well, I've already done step one, which is to make my cross cuts, and I've also put those through the table saw to give us good three inch boards. And don't we have a video showing how to do that? We sure do. If you click right up here, you can find, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we sure do. Just click the link at the top of the video, and you can see how we rip our boards. I was laughing the whole time. Is that okay? I'll say it again. They heard okay. you. They heard you. Ow. So now we're going to add one and a half inch pocket hole screws on several of these boards. So we're, we're gonna build the base and then we're gonna add the top. Sounds perfect. Super simple. So we are using our ever so awesome Craig Jig 720 Pro. So I'm adding one and a half inch pocket holes on my boards right now. And for these, we're gonna put one on each end. So there's two there, flipping it around. Love the design of this table because we've hidden all the pocket holes, so I think you're gonna like it too. One down, you to go. So y'all can see my super handy dandy professional sketch here. So professional. Upside down. Yeah, upside down's the best. That's how we're building it. Did a, a real quick sketch. So we're basically building two X's and then adding legs to it. We're basically building a base. Base. <laughs> Basic <laughs> base. <laughs> and guess what? I have glue. Yes, <laughs> finally. And it's not, it's not frozen or anything. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, so Whitney has drilled one and a half inch pocket holes in all of the boards. So we are just going to attach them together with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. And non-frozen wood glue. So I'm gonna measure 14 on this and I'll let you do it on this one. These are our longer boards. And I'm marking 14 to show us where to place our first board. And it actually doesn't really matter which end you do it from. It doesn't you know? really matter. It does, nothing matters. So you do not have to remember these measurements because we have the free set of plans with the cut list on our website. And you can find that in the link in the description box below. And don't worry, it's probably inaccurate. So when you find this, <laughs> let us know. Usually there's mistakes, but it's free. <laughs> All right, I've got wood glue, and I'm adding, I'm gonna attach the first two pieces. That pull, one. pull the plastic piece off. I can't, I tried, I couldn't oh. get it off. You work out. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> work on my grip strength. It's amazing what difference it makes. <laughs> it's working. Okay, so I'm attaching this with two and a half inch pocket screws, like Ash said. One on this each is side. This so cute. Thank you, I'm excited, because I've really wanted a round coffee table. And when I saw the table tops that Lowe's has started carrying, I was like, I'm doing that. How much was it? 50 bucks like, for a 36 inch round. Wait till you see it, it's so cute. And it takes so long. I was shocked, I know. Would you, would you like to do the honors on the Surely. next one? Surely. I'm gonna give you a better mark. Also, I was trying to tag team and do the other side, but we only have one drill. Yep, we do, because so. I'm sure my children stole my other drill, yeah. and I'll never see it again. Lies. I know. So I'm adding a little bit of unfrozen wood glue to the end of the board. Oh, we're gonna go this way because I'm a righty. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Absolutely. I hate building stuff that's gonna go in your house because I feel like so much pressure to make it perfect. I appreciate that. Not that it's ever perfect. I appreciate when I do the it, try, <laughs> the, the effort though. Ah! <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> next up. Okay, so next we're gonna add, I'm kind of thinking this through in my head. So I'm trying to decide if we make the other X and then do the legs. I kind of feel like that's the best option. the legs are gonna be like this? Yeah, so like what this is gonna be, this is gonna be the base of the table. Mm -hmm. Then our legs are attaching on each end, like boom, boom, through the pocket holes. And then there's gonna be another X that we attach to the other. So I feel like we should go ahead and build the other X and okay. then we'll add the legs. <laughs> Okay. No, Ashley. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I'm make so sure you put your board on the right side of the line. 
You know what? You just I'm take a breather. Sorry. I'll take That's going to be the top one, though, right? It is now. <laughs> I was just saying that I don't like building stuff yeah. for you because of pressure. You literally set yourself up for that one. <laughs> I was feeling so good about knowing the next step, too. You just, you just get on your phone and... I'll know my place. Take some pictures. <laughs> Oh, I should do that actually so you have some. <laughs> so I'm using Craig's new VersaClamp. This is the 12 inch size, but they come in different sizes. We love them so much, but I'm just using it to hold both of these in place. My wood's just a little wonky. And so they're like having a second hand, you know, like having a second Ashley right, right there with you. Except for when I mess up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we will link to these in the post. Okay, so we have both of our X's done. See, X? And now we're gonna add our legs. So now these are 17 inches long. These are our legs. It's, I mean, they're, they're legs, you know. Yeah, they're legs. Yeah, they're the outside. Right now they are. Yeah, that's right. So we're gonna add one to each edge using two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. So I'm gonna just clamp again because we can't. We can't, you know we I mean? have all the base clamps. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Done's so we have up. one leg done, attached, and now we're gonna attach the other three. I've got my four legs on, and now I just need to attach the other X. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that, because I need my pocket holes to face this way. So I'm gonna try it this way. And if that fails, we'll re reassess. So we're just gonna go around and do one at a time until we get it in place. And don't forget wood glue on each joint. Um, okay, so I'm adding the last two pocket hole screws to our X. So as you can see, when the way you're looking at it, this is the base of the coffee table, and this is gonna be where our top goes. So all of our pocket holes are hidden facing us. Pretty handy, right? Pretty handy. I, I planned it well, kinda. Well, you know, Ash, sometimes I show up. Okay, final pocket hole screw, and then we'll take our Craig clamp off and set it up before show you guys before we add our top, which I'm super excited about. Clamp off. So this is gonna be the base Thank of our you. coffee table. So I still cool. have to go stain, I mean sand it and stuff, but it's okay, it's gonna sit on a rug. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, okay, base is done. Now we're gonna add the top, and I'm so excited about the top. I have found Lowe's is now carrying laminated boards, but they are round. Three feet all the way around, so it's a good size coffee table. And only costs $50, so I thought, I'm gonna give this a shot, I wanna see how, I, I love the way the other ones stain, but they come in different sizes. My other favorite thing is, they're an inch thick, not three quarters, so super exciting. So awesome. I'm gonna go grab that, and then we'll attach it. You can take the X down, Here, since you work out. Picture. Now we're gonna lift up our base and put it on top of our top, and we need to flip it, right, yep. And I, there's going to be an inch, it should be close to an inch everywhere. So uh, when you stress the grain of the tabletop is going this way right now, how it's laying. So when you're just adjusting it so that the table base lines go with the grain of the laminated wood. You see it more on the laminated wood because it is literally chunks of wood laminated together. So. Just being extra detailed. We're gonna use our Craig Quick Flip for this, and uh, it's great because it's going to countersink our screws, but then also hide the screws once we attach it. So I'm just adding, I'll go ahead and just show you on these two, go a little bit further in here. And you can see it's countersinking, but it's also boring a hole that will hide our um, screw the head of the screw and all you do here is flip up the gold piece and then this little guy flips around put it back in place and you've got the square tip to attach your pocket hole screws which is what I'll do right now like butter. there you go hidden can't see a thing Yay. okay a few more to go and then this table is done
Isn't she so, so cute. cute? I love this. I, I love it. Can't wait to see what you do with it with this finish. Well, I'm gonna give it a good sanding while I sip, and then I'm going to stain it and give it a good top coat because you know my children. I love how this looks in your living room, Whitney. Thank you so much, I love it too. I think it looks great. I've always wanted a round table and now I finally have one. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Happy, Happy building. building. So many fun, uh, this is, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, love, I love this. I love it. Yeah, I, I, and I don't know what I'm saying. I couldn't tell you. Turd bucket. Shut up with it. And then this is the top one because it's the one that I screwed up. Okay. Out of her, out of her mouth. I don't mind. Hey, can you grab me a, a big face clamp against the wall? Base clamp? Face clamp? Yeah. You can try to find the base clamp. If you <laughs> well, mm. I actually was like, I don't know what that is, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> How do I get one of them? <laughs> I need a base clamp. That's not fair. <laughs> they didn't send me one. <laughs> Craig quick clip for this because I don't want screw holes, or excuse me. We're gonna use our Craig quick clip. And they're like, three feet. Circumference. Yeah. Is, that, is it is it diameter or circumference? I don't know. They're three foot <laughs> diameter. Radius is half. Diameter is the What is same. circumference? All the is way that around? around yeah. Oh, okay. So is it? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We'll say diameter. It's yeah. three inches. Round. How about it's three it's inches around? Round. Three inches. Or three thirty six inches. Wait. Three inches is a very small. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're so perfect. <laughs> Man. <laughs>